Hi everyone. It's me. And this is my new place, my new home, my new start, my new everything. But, yeah, I promised you all that I would address the situation that happened last night. And it's a good place to start. Because bullying is not okay in any way, shape, or form. And, yeah, I'm a victim a lot. But mostly in the past. Because people can change. I've changed. And everything that happened yesterday, though, because it was only one person. There was one person that was the problem. And after when I, you know, read through stuff and realized that everybody else, they were just trying to help and give their two cents. And for the most part, everybody forgot that I was enemy number one. Just, you know, back in January. So, to me, that gives me the impression that, yes, that diploma, because I did get a diploma for finishing the classes that I took, to better myself, worked. I, I hope they did. But, and to quickly go through what happened yesterday, because I do owe that original poster a very sincere apology, and I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. I will. And I am right now. So I have a few things for sale. I mean, I had, I took them all off. I've moved, you know, I'm realizing that I have too many things that I don't really need. A lot of them I give away. Some things have a little bit of value. So I have a price, but not the point. The point that I wanted to share was just to remind people, be careful, you know, who you sell your item, you know, who you give your information, you don't know what they have in mind behind it. And this does come from not a place of anxiety from mental health wise. It comes from the situation I just moved out of. That was a bad situation, <clears throat> location wise. We'll get to that another time. But, you know, people would break in whatever you don't know what someone's gonna come to your house i mean they might really want to buy your thing but they might be coming to your house to see like oh that person's got an expensive tv or they have an expensive this you never know and i'm not saying that people are all like that and i'm not saying that this person that's what they're wanted but there were red flags in our conversation and i have learned over time that red flags in a situation either be a relationship between two people or more, I don't know. People can do what they want, right? None of my business. But there can be red flags, but they don't necessarily mean it's a problem. It just means stop and think. And I stopped and I thought that it was weird. So one, they, the conversation was fine, but the profile picture never ever came up in our conversation, which is kind of odd. All right, but they were very, very adamant on knowing where I live. Now, I do this for a living. This is what I do. I no longer have a part-time job. Because back, you know, when everybody didn't like me very much and I was like public enemy number one, where you know, people just can't understand the scope of my disability because not all disabilities are visible. And I do have good times and I had bad times. And I was only presenting the good days. Now, I'll show you the bad days. And I've gotten people, again, that thank me for showing that. Let them know they're not alone. Which is my whole point. It still falls back to the point that I don't care if you publicly follow me. Publicly like things or not. Doesn't matter. At all. Because things are happening, I am now officially able to call myself a social media influencer. The email just came in this morning. I can I haven't looked through it yet, but that's where I, all the ads and the plans you can apply for them and whatnot. Am I getting things in the mail to review? Yeah. There's more things coming. I actually signed a contract. So those things are coming. So all those people that were very, very mad told me that I needed to get myself a job. You know, work from home, dear. I am working from home and I have a job. 
I don't think this is what they meant, but hey. I do things to the best of my capability. But yes, that's one of the reasons why I don't want people to know where I live. There, there is an address, you know. It's obviously a spoof address. But I, I don't want people to come to my house. And I think anybody, if you're in a position where like, the whole world sees you, you might not want just anybody showing up at your door. So I wasn't very comfortable at giving you my address. And I've had a lot of no-shows. People will be like, I'll be there at 7, I'll be there at whatever. No, they never showed up, so I waited around. And that's kind of the rule of thumb. I don't think anybody out there, and it wasn't anything against this particular person. You know, it was a misunderstanding that I got the information later on. But it also makes you think, you know. If they really, really, really want to know where you live, why? Now, in that old comments, because again, people were not commenting like attacking me they were just simply saying well you didn't give this person an option to meet you somewhere else very true i planned on doing it once they told me you know i'm on the way because you don't know where i am you know there might be a tim hortons across the street for me or, or or you know mcdonald's across the street there might be something very public you know right there and if i never tell you i live across the street then you're never gonna know but they were right I did not give that information straight out and well, things happen. Misunderstanding happens. So that person, I did try to reach out to them and no, but they had me blocked. And that was another red flag. As soon as I wouldn't give them the address, they got mad at me and they blocked me straight off, which in all most indications, that doesn't, that's not a good thing. So. I have her name, I'm going to read it. Natalie Papazian. I hopefully said that right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I put your information out there, that I thought you were a bad person. But the actions that you had, in my mind, with my past experiences of, you know, living in crappy neighborhoods. Actually, it was a great neighborhood, which is a crappy building. It was a little bit odd. Now, I would have responded to her immediately because as soon as she saw that her information's out there, she started commenting, like, take this down and, you know, explain what happened. I, I would have. If it wasn't for that third party person that had nothing to do with the situation whatsoever, but was just there to call me a whore. Straight off. This was her comment. I'm going to be nice enough and I'm not going to share her name, even though I could. But I'm not. So I hope that her RCMP member's son, that's in that picture, tells her to not do this anymore. Yeah, that was very nice of her. So there's all these threats coming at me and obviously I'm gonna defend myself to somebody telling me that I make money in exchange for sexual favors or whatnot. No, this pays the bills, straight up, it does. Mostly Instagram, but I still do the YouTube part on top of it, but that's not the point. That's how I pay my bills. For real. Social development, they get all they know. They see it all. But calling me that was unmerited. And it had no place in that conversation. She had no place in there to say that either. It, it was just someone jumping in. I don't know why. I'm still in the process of learning society and why people act the way they do. Because on top of, of all those things, it just turns out that most of my stuff is that I'm high-functioning autistic. So, some of the things in this world I just don't get. But I have to learn. Because this is something I said before, and I will say again. There's like, what, 8 billion people on this planet? Give or take a few? And I am me. 
If I expect the rest of these 8 billion people to bow down and accommodate me for every single thing that makes me uncomfortable, it's not going to happen. I'm going to live a very miserable life. And unfortunately, I, I have friends who are still kind of there, and I feel so bad for them. But that's not another day. Just if you think about the Tri-City area, I do believe our population for, you know, Moncton Review is about 250,000 people. So again, 250,000 versus one. Who's in the wrong? Probably me. Yes. I need to learn how to fit in with all of you. And for the most part, I have. And then there's the few odd ducks. And again, some people are odd ducks because that's just their personality. That's just how they am. I have to learn to deal with that. Some people are just having a bad day. And I happen to stumble into something or they stumble across something. They're already having a bad day and it doesn't take much for them to go off. Life happens. But this, I don't know why. There was no reason or rhyme to jump in. So that's my whole point of this video is to one, introduce you to the new place, the new me. Because yeah, I'm also like 100 pounds skinnier. And most part, bullying isn't okay anywhere. And mostly, I mean, if someone is attacking you, as in I put that post up and I was refusing to take it down with this woman. And because and, at one point I told this particular woman, like Natalie, I want to take your post down. But I'm trying to figure out where, you know, the original buy and sell thing that I put it in so I can delete it. But I can't because I keep getting messages from this person accusing me of things that I have to defend myself for. She actually had to ask that person to stop. We shouldn't have to go that far. We're adults. We need to act like them. I know. The old person, if the few of you remember, which you don't, which is the best part. Which makes me feel pretty awesome. Because last night I was to the point that I'm going to quit everything. I'm gonna close up everything and give up on my dream. No, not gonna let one bad person ruin all that. Maybe she was having a bad day. I don't know what her problem was, but it still goes to everybody else up there. And it's still the same message no matter what. So yes, that what happened between me and that Natalie person was not anything suspicious, it was not anything bad. It was a misunderstanding. They happen, I'm apologizing for it, because she blocked me. So there was no way for me to understand what was going on. She explained later on what it was, makes perfect sense. I just did not know that. All right, there's a piece of the puzzle that we're missing. I now have them all, I'm apologizing. But that third person, or anybody else in this world, it still comes to my same message. If you're going to sell an item of something, either be on Kijiji, or on Facebook, try to meet them somewhere. Don't let them come to your house. You never know. And I'm not gonna put women in here. I'm gonna say anybody in general, because anybody in general can be a victim of assault. They might wanna rob you and beat you up. They might sexually assault you. They, they might, you have no clue. So generally, just meet them somewhere else. And Again, if you're having a conversation with someone and you get this gut feeling that it's wrong, walk away. Just walk away. Whatever it is you're trying to sell or buy is not worth the potential whatever may happen from that bad situation. It, it's not worth it. Just walk away. Just, that was it. Just to remind people, and unfortunately I had the wrong example. Sorry again. But anybody, again, you can go through things and if you see something in any kind of discussion group, if you really feel that you need to put your two cents in there, go for it. But think about the consequences. And in this case, the consequences of this particular person, I could potentially charge them. Because defamation of character. So many of you throw that out there. I'm gonna charge you, bring you to court. All right, people, this is Canada, not the United States. 
and I'm gonna explain all those things along the time here that I'm all with you. You can't just sue somebody for willy-nilly stuff. This isn't the United States. It's Canada. We have rules. And one of those rules is, I mean, you can present your case to try to bring someone to small claims court. But they do have someone in the court system that reads over things. And if it's just you pissed off or whatever, you don't have actual evidence, it doesn't go anywhere. It's wasting the court's time. And you can actually go to jail for wasting the court's time or have a fine, but the fine's usually pretty high. So don't, don't try. But defamation of character falls down that somebody is on the internet saying lies about you. So my post way back then about the old building that the windows were leaking, that person wanted to charge me with whatever. Fine, go for it. Give it a try. Because I wasn't lying about anything. The windows were leaking. They're still leaking to this day. Kind of why I left. That's a year or something later. But not my building, not my monkey, not my circus. Just saying. In this case, she's accusing me of selling myself for money. Which is one of the lowest things you can accuse somebody of. And I can definitely prove that that is not happening at all. So just be careful with what you say when you, I mean, it may be the heat of the moment and sometimes people do deserve a little bit of a stab, depending on the situation, all right? I don't know what they are, but they could have it. But don't ever go that far. Don't go to a place where the consequences towards you or, you know, RCMP members knock at your door. That's what I say about this. And the last, last little part is, yeah, Things are coming. Again, I mean, I get things in the mail now for free. All I gotta do is post on them on Instagram. I already have a bunch. And it's pretty neat and amazing. But being an influencer is not something that takes like 10 seconds to do. It takes a long time you need to establish a lot of things. And that is going to be part two. The next one that I'm gonna film right after this. So if you want to watch that other part, tune in. If you don't, don't. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe or click like or whatever. Because I don't care. Because neither do the analytics. That's the old algorithm for YouTube and Instagram. It doesn't work that way anymore. They don't care. Because, yeah, if anybody looks at my Instagram, I don't even have 150 followers. My YouTube has 12 followers, I think. That's about it. It doesn't matter how many people actually follow you or click or subscribe or whatever. The analytics get to see the traffic. They see how many people look at your stuff every single day. They see if you have an audience, if people are engaging, talking back and whatnot. That's what's important and that is happening here. So I understand that the topic that I'm talking about, mental health stuff, and the fact that I no longer have any you know conflict of interest things that I can't talk about because I no longer work at Numeris. I'm gonna go there and bring some things that involve politics and all that whatnot. And yes, you know, debates with actual facts and actual opinions that make sense, sure, have them. I'll join, we'll go there, we'll talk like adults. But those things are, they're all coming. And it's not something that, that's easy and yeah, they look at all those comings and goings. So there might be makeup one day. The next day, it might be like, hey, do you really want to know that Bell's lying to you? Because they are. So with all that, it was a lot to put in there. I'm sorry if I overwhelmed anybody. If you had any questions, there's a comment section underneath. Ask away. Go for it. I'll clarify things up. And if anybody thinks I've missaid something, if you ever think I've lied or have wrong information, don't hesitate to let me know. Because if it's wrong, I'll come back and correct it. Because, yes, and the whole part of yesterday, I thought Natalie's phone number was not an actual phone number. I could not call it. I could not text it. I figured it was not correct. And somebody told me that it was a real number, and I looked it up, and they were right. So I ordered two apologies, which I just gave. I hope that's enough. Either way. This is my new thing, my new home, my new everything, and I thank every single one of you for 
being along and I hope you still keep coming because there's way more awesome stuff coming in there. And until then, have a great day.